Welcome back, spooky movie lovers, to Character Limit Exceed, the movie review segment where every word counts. Today, we're talking about Halloween ends. Thank God. <laughs> that is correct, Danny, but before we get carried away, it's time to, to pick, pick that stick. stick. God, please don't make me talk about this movie more than I have to. Looks like I have the Basho, a haiku. I have the Book Report, 250 word review. This franchise dies tonight! Halloween Ends is being met with poor review after poor review, and it's easy to see why. The plot is predictable, questionable, and fairly unbelievable. Jamie Lee Curtis brings the same caliber of acting we have come to expect from her Activia commercials, and the film suffers from a crippling deficiency of the man himself, Michael Myers. That being said, I had a decent amount of fun watching this movie. There were some delightfully brutal kills in this third, and I seriously hope the final installment of David Gordon Green's reboot slash sequel saga of The Shape, although a few kills felt lackluster. And I also found a bucket of laughs during the watch, and I'm sure many of those laughs were unintended. I understand that this movie was trying to convey the idea that Michael's physical presence was no longer terrorizing the town of Haddonfield, and the fear he instilled in its citizens was eating away at them from the inside. This is pretty hard to miss considering Laurie Strode's narrations are force-feeding the audience the concept at the beginning and, and throughout the movie. But for what's supposed to be the final ride of one of horror's most beloved slashers, you'd expect a whole lot more screen time for the guest of honor. The movie takes itself too seriously to hit the schlocky end of the slasher spectrum, a la My Bloody Valentine, and fumbles the execution too severely to rise to the level of films like Your Next. Mike pays the troll toll. The ending doesn't pay off. He gets that boy's soul. You came here to kill me, so do it. 